when you have a trauma, if you think of a trauma in your life, the worst thing that possibly happened to you, there is an actual physical place in the field that surrounds you beyond your body that the electrical charge was so very, very strong that it left like a blob. It's a blob and it's so thick, you can physically feel it with your hand. It's simply an electrical charge with information in it. You know, uh, there's a very simple exercise that Liz Larson had, had discovered and it was related to these blobs. And, and she had discovered when she put her hand out to the place that she thought one of these traumas was and brought it underneath it as if it's a physical thing. And she was like, oh my God, it's heavy. It's thick, like thick air. It's It feels kind of, for some of us, when we put our hand into that place and we think of, oh my gosh, you know, that time that that happened, Literally, when you reach to that very specific part of the field that's around you, your feet, your hand will feel like a little micro, little electrical shocks. It's like ding, 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 ding. It's the weirdest thing. Or it may feel thick or like uh, air jello, I think, uh, something like that. But this, this is a, was an amazing discovery that is now backed by science. And, and not only that, but the ancients knew about this current of manifestation. When we go and have a thing that, a thing that goes from thought to thing, it, it actually does it in the energetic field around us. It follows a pathway from the field around us, and it comes through this center line of our body. It's called, as the ancients called it,